Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I want to fix some stenting problem with my thermocouple. Over the years it's actually oxidized and I have a spare one so I just want to flip it off and replace it because sometimes this one create a problem and my temperature actually fluctuates one or two degrees back and forth for some reason. Maybe it's just a bad connection or it's just maybe bad cable. But for the first prototype this thing works amazingly well. So if I want to upgrade this, I will probably just buy better controlling system and also different thermocouple. But as you understand, for the price, this is quite amazing and it's quite easy to fix. And if you break this thermocouple, it's also quite cheap. You can buy it on Alibaba or AliExpress or somewhere else. So after replacing, I reassemble everything back and put it on top of my Yobo CPU 2. So when I switched from analog to digital controlling system in this Yobo CPU 2 and I also installed the circulator inside, I have precise temperature all around the bath. And before that, the Yobo CPU 2 is actually horrible in terms of quality and it's not even a close to be in specs for C41 process. It at least plus minus 2 degrees in temperature so it's not even close to be qualified as a good tool for C41 process. But now I fix all the problems with it, so let's try to print something from the summer. This film also had problems with the color, so it was developed not perfectly well, but anyway, I like the photos and I will print them. It actually looks quite nice as a sum effect on a film. So I also readjust easel and now I want to crop the picture in the proper size and as you remember I print 20 by 25. And for now just for fun I want to increase the gaps on the sides to 1 cm and I probably will stick with this size for next videos and next prints. So let's check the focus and I really like the grain on this film and how it looks like. Unfortunately I don't really like the bluish tint on the whole film what I developed from this batch because of the bad chemicals. So from now on I'm buying only Tetanol or maybe I will buy the Fuji Hunt kit. But the biggest problem I actually need a little bit more volume of the film. So I'm thinking to start developing for other people also because in this case I will increase quality for my own and I will increase quality for the people who are actually developing the film. Because I can put 5 to 10 rolls in the same time in one batch, it's much better to develop it to one go and use one shot solutions. So I have an offset on the temperature and I will correct it with internal feature on this thermostat. And now everything is corrected and 35 degrees, so I can use my test printer and make a test. The whole idea I will set up F11 and with this distance I will make a 3 seconds intervals and from there I will choose the proper exposure for my print. I think in future for this standard procedure I will use something like 4 second step because sometimes I just have not enough exposure on the first one and not enough exposure on the last one, so I don't really see overexposed print. And the problem with the C41 with the Array 4 process combination, if you underexpose your paper you will get really fizzy colors and low contrast and the whole picture will look really bad. So sometimes you just care to increase your time and just put like 3, 5, even 6 seconds more on top of the print and because you never saw how the overexposed print looks like. But for your eye it actually exists a point where you see the transition to the results which is actually too dark for the eye and before that the print looks amazingly gorgeous and you have a lot of color and a lot of details in the shadows and the lights and basically everywhere on the picture. But now let's check my test print and choose the exposure. As you can see I have a good variety of color and it's a little bit tinted, yes I know. But anyway I can still live with it so I will start with the 15 seconds on F11 and I also will drop plus 20 in the both channels to compensate a little bit with the cyan tint of the film itself. I tried to compensate it before and it doesn't really work if your film is actually badly developed. So your 
colors kind of uh, changed but in this same case you basically tint everything in a just different color it looks a little bit better but you're losing all the details in the uh, foreign channels for example you're losing reds and things like this and as you can see i just simply cover my thermal controller because I don't want to switch it on and off constantly so in next generation of this device I will basically cover the thing or make a switch for the screen itself but in this device it was not so easy and it's basically soldered completely to the PCB and I don't really have access to these pins to just make a switch so in the future in the next project I will make it better but now let's check the bigger prints what I make and see if I succeed with the choosing all the parameters and if everything works. It's a little bit funky colors, but I really like the contrast and the grain and out of focus area and kind of a burn down look a little bit and for sure it's shifted, for sure greens is not there anymore. And this looks actually kind of a, like overexposed Fuji 400H if somebody shot on it. This is kind of a vibe what this photo gives to me. And once again, thank you for watching still in 2023. I hope you like my channel, my videos, and thank you again and see you in the next one. Bye.